Using your car's air conditioning during cold weather really might seem like the last thing you would want to do, but as it turns out, it's actually the first thing you'd want to do. Yeah, Tony has more on today's Behind the Wheel. At Wally & Sons Automotive Repair, they can do it all. Front brakes, oil change, new belts, new hoses. You need a rear end rebuild or a transmission rebuild or engine transplant, we'll do it. They can even diagnose a customer's problem by the sound it makes. When you go over a bump, it goes gunk, 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 gunk. They make that sound for me a lot. <laughs> and when it comes to explaining to customers why they should turn on their AC in the dead of winter, well, they can do that too. They're very surprised by it. There's, because I think in most people's minds, AC is only cold. But the air coming out of your AC is only cold if you have it set to a cold temperature. If you set your AC to a hot temperature, the air will come out hot. And that's not all. You are using portions of the AC system to dry the air or remove the moisture out of the air. Removing that moisture will defrost your window. When you get in with a nice rainy coat or wet hair in the Pacific Northwest and then your windows steam all up and they just don't seem to clear, if you push the AC button, it'll help dry that air out. I mean, it's called air conditioning for a reason. The name literally says it all. Air conditioning is conditioning of the air to whatever condition you're trying to set it to. You've got the control. So even with your AC on, it's still up to you whether the air coming into the car will be icy cold or toasty hot. Although that still does sound just a little bit crazy. It does, <laughs> but I promise it's for the best. To give you a moment to ponder this counterintuitive HVAC maneuver, here's a nice clip of Coda, Wally and Son's 17-year-old shop dog. There. Now, where were we? You can set it to whatever temperature makes you comfortable, but you're just using some of those components to help you out and be more effective. So the pushing the AC doesn't magically make it cold? No, it does not. That's all decided by what? That's all decided by the actual temperature that you set for the cab. So as you can see, air conditioning in the winter, not so crazy after all. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. You know, so, when you think about summer and how long it takes for the air to turn cold when you turn it on, I guess it kind of makes yeah, sense, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, seems crazy, but it works. And uh, Janie, by the way, is Wally's granddaughter, but she said too much trouble to change the sign, change the name. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Wally and Sons, yeah, uh, she's been there for a long time. She's a former school teacher, so her ability to explain yes, complex so things good. in a simple manner really helped me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, so. it was great. Yeah. It's great to keep in mind. Well, it just would not have occurred to me. The things you come up with, Tony, that we really don't think about, and yeah. then we go, hmm. Yeah, this one, either you knew it or you didn't, but right. if you didn't, it's a game changer. Love it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Mm -hmm.